Hi guys. Sweet idea, sweet class. This is John from Philip and Noah. Today's class is a telephone piggy bank that actually works. With this Philip and Noah kit, we're going to make a telephone piggy bank. Before we start the class, can you promise me one thing? Please choose one thing that you can help your parents with. It can be washing dishes, cleaning your room, tidying up the shoes, and whenever you get an allowance in exchange, put them in this piggy bank. And promise me that you will use the money earned with a good deed for another good deed. How about helping people who can't go to the hospital even if they're sick and can't eat even if they're hungry? Promise me you'll do that. Now let's get down to it. The telephone kit has arrived. So I'm going to unbox it. Ta-da! First, we have a manual. The materials that you need to make the telephone. And a telephone receiver. You should be very careful not to drop the receiver, okay? Let's open this box to make the telephone piggy bank. We handmade this box for you, so it'll be much easier for you to make your phone. Now that we're done with the unboxing, we're going to paint the phone box. If you use paint you have at home together with our kit, you will still be able to make an amazing phone. Let's get started. Now we're going to start making the telephone piggy bank. I think some of the moms were a little confused about the standard version and the character version I talked about. The character version is the one decorated with the characters that our kids like. And the standard version is the one you only decorate with your paint. So now I'll show you how I decorated mine. It is the same kit as yours but made my way. The one I will be showing today is the standard version. I'm going to paint one red and the other pink by mixing red and white. I'll start with red. You can decorate the phone however you want. You can even draw something on it. The sky is the limit. I've decided to use all kinds of colors to make my telephone piggy bank pretty. You can even paint the holder a different color, but I like this color, so I'll just leave it like this. You can make it however you want. This is my style, so you don't have to copy mine. It's almost completely dry now. I don't think you need to use the whole tube of paint. We don't want to waste any paint, so use only as needed. So while this dries, I'll show you how to make the character version since you have asked me how. Take a piece of paper from a sketchbook and think of a character you like. Any ideas? Mm, it can be Pikachu. All of anything. As for me, I will draw a heart. It 
quite simple. You just draw anything you want to draw here. You can draw snowflakes, flowers, whatever. I want to make a telephone with this hearts, so I'm going to draw hearts. Then I'll fill the hearts with this color. When you're done with the hearts, you can even draw cute little faces in it. It's smiling. Here's to everyone's happiness. I hope the coronavirus goes away soon. Smiling hearts. We're now done with the smiling hearts. Now we will cut out the hearts with scissors. If you look at this template, you'll find a plastic seal covering it. So please peel it off like this. Remove from both sides. Put the template on this clear sheet of paper and trace the circle. And cut it with scissors. We're doing this because we need to stick on numbers on the phone and I realized that they fall off when you play with it a few times. So if you use this sheet, it won't fall off as easily. Now we're going to put these number stickers on the phone. You can either use this template to trace the circles to see where the sticker should go or freehand it. I'm going to freehand it. Some people feel they need to put the number stickers in order, but that doesn't really matter. You can use the stickers in our kit like this, but you can even use other stickers if you want. This phone is an analog phone that was used very long time ago, so I think many of you have never seen this before. So if you're a mom and you're explaining this to your kids, tell them how this phone works and your kids will find it fascinating. Some kids say that they've seen it in their grandma's place. Ta-da! Remember this sheet? We're going to put it over the numbers now. Then the numbers will move around when you spin and play with it later. Press it on like this. This dot isn't a hole yet, so you'll have to puncture it to make a hole. We even put in a straw in our kit to help support the template. We'll cut this as well. Put it in the template like this and put this in the hole here. Let's give a spin. It works, right? 
Remember these hearts? We're going to make a heart phone. You can use the clay you have at home or you can use the clay we sent you. We don't need this a lot, but the reason why we use this is so that we can make this part stable. I'm going to make hearts. Some of you may wonder how I make clay hearts. I'll show you. Roll the clay between your palms and press it with your fingers to make a heart shape. There we go. Is it too big? When you're done with it, press it on like this. When the clay is dry, it'll be fixed and you can spin it easily. While we're waiting, if you want to make the character version, use these heart cutouts. It's not hard at all. You can do it by yourself. I'll glue it on with a glue gun, but if you don't have this at home, then you can use the regular glue. All those little smiling heart friends are now on the phone. Ta-da! You can glue it on like this and make your own telephone. You can glue them on here or here. It doesn't matter where you put them. You can make it however you want. We even sent you these stickers like this. You can decorate the phone with these stickers. I won't use the stickers too much. I'll put one here and I'll put some stickers here or put the money in. Remember the promise you made with John? It would be great if you guys helped out at home a lot. Help your mom and save up some money and later on you can even help many friends who are in need. A few kids who were at our class told me they donated to a charitable cause and I was deeply touched when I heard that. I was so grateful that the class remembered the promise that they made with us. I haven't met you guys but I hope you can keep this promise and meet us later in person when the coronavirus is gone. Ta-da! This is the hard telephone. Finally, the receiver. If you put it on like this, we're done. You'll find a little hole here. That's where we'll put the cord in. Ta-da! This is the finished look. But can we actually make phone calls with this phone? Do you think it'll work? Let me show you if it works or not. Will it work? Oh, I think I hear a sound. I'm going to pick it up. When you pick the phone up, press this button like this. This is a volume button. Let's turn the volume up. Hello? Hi, friends! Huh? Who is this? This is John from Philip and Noah. Wow, John, the phone really works. Yes. Okay, bye. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe.